Hey guys, welcome back. A uh, good news for the OnePlus 5 and the 5T users. There is a new official Android 8.1 update about these two devices 5T and 5 as of now. So this is in the form of the OxoNS 5.1.0. Previously it was on the 5.0.4. Now almost all the features and changes I have shown you in all the previous uh, open beta update except the last one because I was sick. So anyway guys, let's get start and see all these features and changes. I'll be using OnePlus 5T for the official one and keeping OnePlus 5 as open beta in case I need to show you some comparison and differences. And for the OnePlus 3 and 3T, uh, at the time of filming this video, there was no update and hopefully should be getting it very soon. And this is your last Android Oreo update. Uh, I don't think so Google is going to release anything beyond the 8.1 because in just couple of months from today, you're going to get the android p official so these two devices 3 and 3t are not going to get any android p update so 5 and 5 tiers are apl applicable for that so it is good time to switch to one plus six stay tuned i'll be showing you all the possible comparison differences anyway back to this update let's start and see all those features and changes and here is a quick installation method in case you're not getting the update and your vpn is not working so in my case my vpn is not working so i'm just trying to use this local update method it is simply the best method if you have good internet you can download the complete rom paste it in the internal storage not inside this any folder just uh, go to the local update method select the file and it will take max 5 2 2 4 5 minute depends on your device and you should get the latest uh, build installed on your phone or the latest android version whatever is coming now you got the latest security patch it's not the latest but yeah it's the updated one april one and the 5.1.0 is the latest oxygenos version number that you will be getting on your 5 and the 5t this is the main feature highlight of this update navigation just just feature so this is quite old for the open beta update actually i guess uh, one and a half month back i've shown you everything exactly same so for me it's a quite uh, you know used to feature so this is the first one actually this is copied from the galaxy now so last year galaxy first time i brought this feature so this is the button you can simply tap it and lock it and uh, so that's how it should work the this one here actually copied from the iphone 10 feature pretty sure i'm not lying you guys know that now it shows proper step how you have to use it so here's a quick tip from my side uh, try to use it gently do not long press it for example if you're inside on the home screen so if you just long press it or deep press it it will open the app drawer so use uh, you know uh, very calmly yeah. if you have uh, this tempered glass so it's it has more friction it will be tough to use that but it will take a couple of days for you guys to adjust that and if you're a screen printer it should work very well so it shows proper ways how you should use it use it here's a quick demo so since i'm using from more than a month now so i'm quite used to it and the accuracy is almost uh, 95 to 97 percentage one or two times it happens in a day it, it didn't work for me because of the i have the glass it has some you know sensitivity issues so back button and this both sides back buttons are working the same way left and right way so you can see that's what i was talking to you guys talking to you about that if you long press it it will simply open the app draw so use it you know gently as much as you can do that but yeah it will take one or two days definitely for sure you have you will get used to it how to use it that's a quick navigation bar feature next we have uh, some feature on the gaming mode so this is again very very nice feature if you play a lot of games multiple devices are very good for gaming actually so you can see yeah, now do notice the last screen had after brightness setting now open beta already had some of the new features like the lock button has a network boost feature it should be coming to you very soon maybe in the next after the oneplus 6 will get launched so uh, the main we are going to see this feature is this disable adapters adaptive brightness again okay, this battery saver is also common so this one here is your disable adaptive bright automatic brightness so here is a stupid thing that i did and i'm sure a couple of you guys might be doing going to do the same thing i'm just going to tell you what is that now i have enabled this feature i was thinking uh, it should work globally by default to all the games that i have installed so i'm just trying to increase the uh, check whether the brightness is changing or not i'm just locating the sensors so that's how you can play with the brightness so you can see the brightness is completely increased that means it is not working so there is no bug at all actually you have to select the applications or games which you want to use it so it should work with the applications too i'm going to use the game and uh, this temple into again so now this time if i close the game and try to start the game again you will see uh, some notifications so on the notification panel it should show you some kind of warning we will verify that later so uh, we were in the lowest brightness setting by default we have seen ar around 25 percentage so now i'm just going to check whether adaptive brightness is working or not so right side should be this uh, ambient sensor and 
let's see whether it is working or not so on checking uh, you can see uh, brightness is still on the same list that means the gaming mode is working now so i hope you guys <laughs> try to do the same otherwise you may think it's kind of bug and you can see on the this notification panel there is a quick uh, prompt to we just have to tap it there it will simply disable it some couple of changes on the launcher side too these are not pretty great but i'm just showing you there are some still annoying bugs are there so i'm not using oneplus launcher for sure honestly i'm using pixel launcher like the lean launcher always my so far favorite so right side you can see uh, on the official there is a new search bar and uh, open beta has it on downside and uh, anyway it's just small feature so here's the new feature once you tap on the search bar you can see by default applications are categorized by itself so still it's not good uh, it's okay twitter is on the reading mode i just don't know why it is doing that and i have five game install one game this dead trigger 2 definitely is not showing you here so yeah dead trigger is a game of course but why it is not there inside the game folder so point is that do not rely completely on this feature try to just search by yourself otherwise you will see you know the game is installed and not installed so that's your features guys and stay tuned for further updates like you know one plus six and all the cool stuff camera comparison things that i asked to show you and yes uh, something i wanted to show you so this is my 10th anniversary uh, i bought this phone this is my first touch phone actually so i'm using it as a daily driver for a week let's see i'll show you guys with the next week you know how does it looks like when you choose a feature phone or very old phone nowadays so once again thank you so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy this video this is saurabh and i'll catch you very soon till then have a great day